Hang these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. It's so weird how close they were. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. It 
thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Hmm, who does this car belong to? Yep, another car David was tracking. Hmm, who else was David tracking here? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to- Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? 
so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Couldn't hurt to give this pin coat a whack. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oops, bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Think, think. Oh, look at this shit again because you did miss something. Okay, this is not rocket science. Write the code down or memorize it. You can do it, Max.
Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. <sighs> Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. <sighs> he didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Ask Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. That beach is like Frank's main office. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor, rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. 
We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Here, let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. On the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. Boring. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Lots of info here. <sighs> Nothing here. <sighs> Nothing here.
No more secret shop. Just rotting wood. So many haystacks, so few needles. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Ah, the good old days.
That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Please be careful up there, Max. Here's the other end of the rope. not fall. I could use this old motor with that rope and hook. Please be careful up there, Max. I have to get through this monster padlock first. are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Secret Sean Prescott. So many haystacks, so few needles. Somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn.
Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Tell me if you need any help. I could use the old motor as a counterweight to smash the padlock. Tell me if you need any help. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry.
Use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Please be careful up there, Max. Driver strikes again.